We'd like to thank our friends at Heinz Toyota of Mankato for loaning us this awesome Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road Edition. This is a 2019 Toyota Tacoma. This is the TRD Off-Road Edition, and we're gonna take a look and give you a review of this vehicle today. But before we do, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. Today, we'll take you for a review of this vehicle, but before we do, why don't you consider becoming a channel member? Hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification so you never miss a video. So what do you say, Nathan? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. All right. Well, here we are on the 2019 <laughs> Toyota Tacoma. We've been having a little camera. <laughs> it's a calamity. Errors after one after the other of calamity different things. Of so errors today. if the video shakes a little bit, just enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't comment on it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it's really quiet in here. I'm surprised. It was until a minute ago when yeah. you started talking. <laughs> It's uh, it's very maneuverable. The 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 steering's power uh, boosted just enough, and now I'm going to get onto a highway, so we're going to see what kind of acceleration we got. When you do have a little power okay. button down here, which is oh. reminiscent of the old Camrys. Okay, that's the adjust the carburetor output a little. But I don't know what it, <laughs> or there's no carburetor on this, obviously. Right, but no. it's just uh, something with the motor and lets you go faster how about that there you go all right let's see i'm going to turn on the dynamic cruise and just did it pick it up there we go there we are ready and boom it's set yeah steering and the handling on this is very easy i like the wheel now one thing i did notice and you may talk about this too but it is a um tilt wheel but it is not telescoping I tried that as soon as I got in, but you know, you can adjust your chair, your seat, but, uh, and I did, and it's comfortable, and this is a cloth interior, it's very comfortable, though. I like it. And it's, a, it's yeah. really quiet, it's got the bigger wheels on it and tires, yet it's quiet in here. And it's comfortable. It is very comfortable. I, I thought being that this is like kind of an older version, it's it's been refreshed for 2020, that uh, maybe this would be a little harsh ride and stuff, yeah. being that this is the off-road package too. But no, it's it's very subdued and very comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna try this radar cruise because I had it on. Does it does it go off and then no, it picked back oh, up. Oh no, there we go. No, if once it's on, wow. unless you physically turn it off. Wow. The street, okay. It's on. See, I've not I've not played with that before. I think I've said in other videos. This is the one feature that's out nowadays that I would absolutely look for in my next car. And there we go, guys slowing down, they put the brakes on. I like it because I use cruise, cruise control everywhere. So to have this, and we slowed down to 55 and I've got it set at 65 uh, because the car in front of us is slowed down. I really, really, really love this feature. Uh, so I just want to pick up a little bit of speed. Yay. And then we'll, um, we'll try it. Okay. Boy, there we go. That that was quick. That's quick. Very nicely done. I mean, it's it's a heavy vehicle, and it's a, you know it's a four wheel drive truck, so it stops pretty easy. Um, you know, like you were saying earlier, I really like the fact that you you can see the whole hood. Yep. It's very it sits up. The hood sits up tall, not like most where it slants. You know, down sometimes. Right. Sometimes you don't even see the hood. Right. Um, this you can definitely see the the entire hood right to the end. Yep, and I like that in this truck I like the dashboard layout. It's linear. It doesn't uh, Crowd the view of the windshield and actually you can put things up here And if you you lose a pen or a piece of paper or something up on the dash panel 
uh, you can actually get it and you can clean the inside of your window there. Some cars, it's like a half a mile to reach up forward and you still can't. Yeah, that's so a little, can, that is a little shorter, isn't it? You don't, yeah, have, you never you don't get have as to, much dash. You never get to clean that lower part of your windshield. It's like you can, it's the outer realms of, of anything in the universe. You can't clean it. So this is actually accessible and nice. Now this has sport shifting. Yep. Okay. That takes off fast. I uh, this has got a really really nice feel to it. It's, and I like how I use it up. You know, it's just like an SUV. Yeah. Typical Toyota build quality inside the fit, the finish, everything just lines up nicely. Yeah. All the colors. I mean, it's black, but it all goes to work you know, together well. But you got a little bit of a what do you think a, a charcoal black plastic trim yeah. around the. I like that. It's just enough that it, it changes up and instead of it being solid black drab interior. You've got some chrome around the vents and stuff. So yeah, it brings up. Door handles. Yep, breaks yeah. it up a little bit. I do like how big the knobs are. Yeah. Yep. So you've got like work gloves or winter gloves. Mm -hmm. You can manipulate the controls. One of the things I really like is on the shifter, and I'll show this in the review, it's LED lighting. So it's got the park reverse neutral. So as you go into it, each, each gear lights up, but I like it. Yeah. It's a nice sharp, sharp colors and yep. Bar trip. Quick uh, trivia for you. Four. And if you guys know what it is, leave your comments below. So don't, add, even if you know it, which you may, you may not, but what vehicle is the number one selling vehicle in all of the state of Hawaii. If you know, leave the comment below. Nope, don't tell the folks, Nathan. I don't think you know it anyway. I don't do tell too. The people. Okay, but don't tell them. Let them leave comments down below. All right. Uh, and if you get it right, you get a no expense paid vacation to your local Toyota dealer to buy a new Toyota Tacoma. How's that for a price? No kinda, rules, kinda no nothing. For it's kind of it's it's kinda <laughs> all on you. There's no rules. There's no lawyers involved. It's just you go down and test drive a Tacoma, and I guarantee you, you'll leave the dealership with one of these. The Tacoma is available in six trim levels, starting with the SR at $25,850, SR5, $27,625, TRD Sport, $32,000. 545 TRD off road 33,800 then there's the limited 37,790 and the TRD Pro 4x4 double cab automatic 45,665 now this is powered by three and a half liter V6 double overhead cam 24 valve with direct injection Atkinson cycle engine with variable valve timing it does produce 278 horsepower and 265 foot-pound of torque. There is a six-speed electronically controlled automatic intelligent transmission. And on this particular vehicle from the cat back, there is a TRD Pro exhaust. On the front, you see projector beam headlights with black sport bezels and LED daytime running lights. There are rigid industry fog lights and out back the tail lights with black sport bezels. This does have the 16 inch TRD Pro black alloy wheels with P265 70R16 all terrain tires. Up front there's a coil spring, double wishbone front suspension and stabilizer bar. Out back there's a leaf spring rear suspension and staggered outboard mounted gas shock absorbers and stabilizer bar. TRD tuned off-road suspension with two and a half inch Fox internal bypass coilovers and rear remote reservoir shocks. Turning circle on this vehicle is 40.7 feet. Now on the double cab V6 only, there is a power rear sliding window with rear privacy glass. Now the bed is fiber reinforced sheet molded composite inner bed with steel outer panels, storage compartments and rail caps, and with easy lockable and lowering removable tailgate. 
in the bed there's a 120 volt 400 watt uh, deck mounted AC power outlet there's also rear parking assist sonar multi-terrain select and crawl control hill start assist control electronically controlled locking rear differential and on this there is a class 5 uh, trailer hitch receiver you do have an automatic transmission cooler which is not available of course on a manual transmission and then you have an engine oil cooler power steering cooler 130 amp alternator 4 7 pin connector for the trailer with converter and a trailer sway control on the v6 only overall height of this vehicle 71.6 inches overall length is 212.3 inches overall width 75.2 inches this rides on a wheelbase of 127.4 inches the bed length is 60.5 inches bed height 19.1 inches and bed width 41.5 inches the aparture the, excuse me the approach departure and breakover angles are 35 degrees on the approach 19.1 on the departure and 23.9 on the breakover the ground clearance is 9.4 inches and it has a towing capacity of 6400 pounds all right so starting on the outside of the 2019 toyota tacoma um th this was such a fun truck to drive um you know when you're inside it you're sitting up nice and high uh, but you've got the comfort of a car it really is it's kind of I don't know how to explain it um, but take one for a ride and, and you'll see what I mean uh, in, in addition to that you've got huge off-road capabilities um, all right well that being said let's just take a look at the inside here so yeah starting with the door here you've got um, you know these are all uh, like um, Plastics here, you know, if you're going to be off-roading, uh, going into anything wet, you don't want nice leather finishes. This is very nice. It's soft touch. It's grippy. Um, you got your standard uh, windows and lock controls and mirror controls. Um, you've got dual bottle holders right there. I really like that. You've got manual controls on all your seats, which would be appropriate for anything that would be off-roading. Less electrical um, to worry about, the, the better off you are. But this one you can raise and lower and then you can recline the seat back and forth going over here you've got a little coin tray or whatever you want to stick in there not big enough for a big cell like a modern cell phone but um, over here you can set your rear light the cab light in the back over here you've got your power setting for um, the the outlet in the rear here auto high beams okay uh, then moving up to the steering wheel You've got, these are your basic controls here for your stereo, volume and, and stuff, your voice command, your mode selector, what mode you're going to be in, and then over here is what's going to affect your driver's information system in here. That's your back button, and then, of course, your menu pages. Down here, you've got the same kind of cruise control that we saw on the Highlander. Um, which I really like. It's it's an old standby from Toyota, and it just it works well. So it's push to go on, and then down to set, up to resume, and then you know down to go down a mile an hour or two, and then up to go up a mile an hour or two. Okay, uh, we're gonna get in. and We're gonna start this up. Um, I do like the floor mats that come with this. This again is the TRD Pro. So let's hop in here. I like how the headlights on the Tacoma come on. Okay, so moving uh, over here, we've got um, the RPM gauge, of course. You've got your coolant. You've got your trip meter, physical reset. You've got your fuel gauge, and then you've got your speedometer. In here, you've got the basics uh, for your driver information system here. And then you have some really cool features. Here's your media. Um, here's your tire pressure, which it hasn't registered yet because so we haven't been moving. Messages from your vehicle. And if you're not used to that, vehicles will send you a message saying that something needs to be changed, your oil or your, your coolant or your um, 
windshield wiper fluid or something like that. Okay, this is your settings here for you know your lane departure and your uh, pedestrian uh, cross traffic warning system. Okay, and then over here you've got um, time until rest. Okay, and then I want to show you another one in here though. Roll and pitch. Um, this is this is a neat one. Now I don't know. I think I, I think I might have to have it in drive. I love that where it shows you on here exactly what it's doing. So I am going to take and move this a little bit and see. Oh, there we go. So it's showing you the roll and the pitch of the vehicle. Of course, I'm on flat ground, but that would be really awesome uh, going uh, off-roading. And that's, that is a unique feature, um, you know, as, as opposed to, say, from the Highlander. Uh, otherwise, the driver information system is pretty much identical. All right, let's put this back where it was. Okay, here's the backup camera. Um, this one does not have dynamic guidelines, but it does have the guidelines that are there. Okay, it's a nice camera, big, big full view. All right. So, moving on, down over here, you've got your uh, um, infotainment screen here. Uh, we have, of course, apps right here, which are going to be the, sort of the same as what you saw uh, on some other Toyota systems that are similar to this. Um, you can reorder the order of these icons. You can, this does have uh, uh, live traffic updates and Doppler weather overlay. Okay, and then of course a maintenance. And you know, when you look at this maintenance thing, again, I think Toyota has the most exhaustive system out there. It does require manual input, but you can input all these things and then it will keep track of them for you and remind you if you want. I've never seen another car with that many reminders that you can turn on. And again, you plug in the mileage and all that kind of stuff and the, when you change it, but wow, uh, that is really, really neat. All right, uh, going back home, we do have a split screen view and uh, as did the Highlander. And then now uh, you've got navigation. Okay, so just gonna go back here one more time. Yep, and then we went to, to maintenance. Okay, so if you want the navigation full screen, we just click on here and there we go. Okay, uh, and we go over here to audio, and you got your stations over here, and you've got uh, what's actually playing. Okay, all right. So moving down here, you've got your start-stop button. You've got your two-wheel drive, four high and four low selector, um, mirror defroster, which is an interesting place to put that. I don't know why they put that separately. Uh, typically, it's right by your mirrors or your, your rear window defroster, but oh well. Um, fan control, air conditioning on or off. Uh, this is your temperature setting. Okay, manual rolling. Um, and then you got your recycling and then your modes. Moving a little bit further down here, if you need a little, a little extra power, you can, like when you're accelerating or whatever, you can press that and it will give you a little more oomph on the accelerator. This is your power opening rear view, our uh, rear window. So now over here, you've got a, a USB plug in along with a 3.5 millimeter jack. And then this one over here, this activates this. So you can have it as the charging pad when that's turned on, or you can turn this off and use it just as a storage area. Huh. That's really neat. They gave you an option to turn that on or off. Then you got a 12 volt outlet right here. Down here you've got a cup holder, okay? And then of course you've got another cup holder here. So really three cup holders right in the center. And then of course a little story, uh, cubby storage there. And uh, like, like the other Highlander we just reviewed, um, this one is just a gated shifter. So you don't, there's no button to push because you have to move the shifter uh, in weird directions to get everything to come on. I really like the LED lights that they put inside here. I don't know if you're really catching that, but they're nice and bright. 
So you got blue as drive. I don't think I've ever seen a blue drive button before. Okay. You got sport mode over there. And then neutral is, of course, green. Reverse is orange. And then park is blue again. Um, the the uh, dashboard lights are also backlit in blue. Okay, moving over here. Let's look at the glove compartment real quick. Okay, you've got a very, very large glove compartment right here. Cent and then in the center console, if you lift this up, you've got some storage underneath here along with, I don't know if you can see this, maybe Kendall is going to be upside down, I apologize, but right down there are two more USB outlets. Let's go up here because this is where a lot of the magic happens on the uh, TRD Pros. You have an automatic dimming review mirror, but up here, you've got trash control on or off. You, you can, this is your lock for your rear diff. And then over here, you've got um, the different settings for um, the four wheel drive system. So if I turn this one on, okay, it tells you to shift to four low. And then um, you can do that over here. So usually you have to be in neutral. So let's go to neutral. And we'll go here to four low. Okay, now it says it's turned off uh, the uh, vehicle stability controls and all that stuff. You can see all the lights coming on the dashboard. Okay, now we're ready to go. You can turn on the crawl mode, and then you can regulate the speed of the vehicle with this. So this is the slowest speed, and then this is fastest. I think they say they're about a mile an hour each. And um, apparently this works in reverse as well as it does in forward, as well as with or without the diff lock on which I think, I don't know if it turns it on automatically or not. I don't have an off-road course course to take it to. But um, that is just one really, really, really awesome system. It uses a computer to control the wheels. So sometimes when you're uh, uh, out off-roading, you can't control the throttle finely enough to keep the wheels from spinning, and this does. And this works going uphill as well as going down. All right, so that is some of the huge benefits to having a, a, a TRD Pro is this setup right here. All right, um, let's uh, take a look at the mirrors quickly. They, these uh, do have uh, lights on there. They're a little uh, cheaper plasticky looking, um, but uh, they are lit up. And it is the same on both sides. All right, let's quickly take a look at the second row because that's an important spot as well. Stepping into the second row here, you've got your typical same type of uh, surfaces as we had in the front which is great for off-roading because they're easy to clean and they don't damage easily. Okay, you've got the nice protective uh, rubber floor mats in here that come with this. And then you've got, of course, the easy zip lining that comes off so you can clean these. Okay, just some little differences on off-road vehicles that, you know, that come equipped for off-road. Dual cup holders right here, high off the ground. Nothing you can pull out down here. Okay, and then on the rear seats, you don't have a, uh, because we have the cup holders up here, you don't have anything to pull down right here. However, it's very easy to get the seat right here to come down. You can first of all pull up the cushion, okay, and that was just this little grab handle here, and it does on both sides. And then you have a little box, storage box down here. And these run, you know, the length of the, of the seat. Okay, I'm going to push that one back here, push that back, and now if I grab this lever right here, and pull up, the whole seat will come forward, and then I've got a little bit more storage in back, which can be really good for hiding electronics, uh, that kind of stuff, um, and it's the same on the other side there. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that is the back of the 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. Hi folks, I'm Rob. <laughs> and I'm Shaka Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing I can think of. <laughs>